Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. What's up you guys, Cece back with another video. And for today's video, we're gonna do something just a tad bit different. Let me um, kind of get out the way of this ring light cause it's killing, killing the vibe from my glasses. So I'm really excited about this video today guys. I get questions all the time just about tips and tricks on how to navigate the corporate work workplace, right? You guys know that is my specialty. That's what I talk about. That's what I love to talk about. And I'm so excited to give you guys a real world example today. So I have a work event to go to. We are taking the team out to dinner. We're going to a very nice steakhouse. It's just going to be a fun time with the executive staff. So we're headed there tonight and I wanted to give you guys some hair tips, some makeup tips, some clothing tips, and just some general overall how to behave in this type of setting tips. So we're going to do some hair, some makeup. I'm going to take you in my closet. I'm going to show you that. And then we'll talk on the way to the restaurant and we'll just talk about some general, again, behavioral tips. So I'm really excited about this one because I get this question all the time and I think it's just super important to not only know how to navigate your way through work during the day, but also if you're invited to an after work event, right? So if it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, we can definitely do them. So leave it down below. And these glasses, honey, you know we're going to talk about these glasses, okay? Let's get started on the makeup. Let's get started on the hair. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's talk hair. So this is a work event, remember that, right? So nothing that I would wear, let me take these off because the ring light is getting to them. But if I wouldn't wear it to work, I would not wear it to an after work event, right? You may be able to get a little more informal, like if you were gonna wear a blazer over a top, maybe you don't have to wear the blazer anymore. But it's the middle of winter here in Cleveland, Ohio, and so it's freezing outside, so I wanted to wear something that is still gonna keep me warm, but I'm still gonna look cute. So I haven't figured out what that is yet, but again, we're gonna go through the closet. But in terms of hair, I just keep it very simple. Like on the weekends, that's when I usually wear my colored hair. Like I'll wear red hair. You guys have seen me in all types of different colors. For work, honey, we keep it black or brown. That's that's just what we do. I don't feel like answering questions about my hair, even though it happens sometimes anyway. I don't feel like, you know, explaining why my hair was black yesterday and why it's red today. I don't really feel like doing all of that, okay? So at work, we keeps it simple just like this. So my easiest go-to hairstyle for work is I take a curling wand and I put a little curls in it and it's done in like five to seven minutes, all right? So y'all have seen me do this a million times. I'm gonna speed past this and then we'll make it to the makeup. <laughs> I do my hair the same way every single time I curl it. It lasts me for a few days and I just curl it and go. That literally takes me like five minutes. It's so quick, so easy. Like this is my go-to work hairstyle, right? So now we're going to get into makeup. And the one thing you want to think about with makeup is that you don't need to put on a whole bunch of makeup. You don't need to do any crazy eyeshadow colors. You know what? If you want to do eyeshadow colors, that's perfectly fine. I will keep it neutral. When I'm at work, so when I'm at work, 
I like to make sure that the focus is on my work and not on my hair, not on my makeup, not on my clothing. So, you know, some people go to work a lot more fashionable than me. And that is perfectly, perfectly fine. But for me, I just like to keep it. I like to keep it normal. I like to keep my makeup as close to skin like as possible. Sometimes I do a little razzle dazzle and put on a little eyeshadow. But for the most part, you guys have seen my work makeup routine and it, it, it ain't no, no eyeshadow in sight. I try to keep it as, like I said, I try to keep my stuff as, as neutral as and understated as possible, right? So um, the big thing that I do is prime my face I have oily skin so I prime my face every single day and all of these products will be linked down below you guys but I make sure to prime my face because I don't want like the makeup's gonna be on all day right so I want it to stay on all day and I don't want to have to blot every five minutes and I also don't want to look super oily and just have it looking really bad at work where people are looking at me like girl what is wrong with your face right so that's not what we want I also do my brows and brows are another thing I just make sure I have a brow product that for me is going to stay in place so a lot of times I'll do a pencil and then a brow wax on top of that to make sure that my brows are going to stay in place so I'm going to use my benefit precisely my brow pencil and I'm going to use the Anastasia brow wax just to keep it in place now you can also use a brow pomade as well that also has some good staying power but the wax and the pencil, I can do that super quick, super easy. That's another thing for me is to keep everything easy and quick and simple. Nobody wants to be waking up at 5 a.m. every morning to do their makeup. And I showed you guys my little like morning routine. So if you guys haven't seen my morning routine, make sure you check that out. But most days, I don't even do makeup. Let me... When I go into the office, I do try to look look nice and I'll do a little makeup but when I'm at home I'll probably only do makeup once or twice a week and twice is a stretch honey so keep in mind you absolutely don't have to do makeup I'll put chapter markers in this video so if makeup isn't your thing you can skip to the clothing or the I guess behavioral tips I'll call them or whatever you want to see but this is my easy breezy work makeup routine. don't do this but I'm gonna do it today just because I'm excited to use this foundation and that will be using a new makeup product something that you really don't know how it works because you don't want to have it looking you don't want to have it making you look crazy while you're at work and then if you don't have any touch-up makeup or anything like that you can't touch up and you're just looking crazy all day right but I'm gonna break the rules a little bit and I'm gonna use this new foundation I feel like I'm kind of like a makeup makeup on myself pro at this point so if something goes wrong I can fix it real quick but this is the Chanel ultra Le Tints all ultra wear all day comfort flawless finish foundation and I'm really excited to try this I featured this in my haul that I just put up it was a last week or the week before I'll link it in this video but I featured this product and I thought I would just use it today but don't try new makeup products at work okay don't be like me okay Let's speed this up.
I'm going. I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be probably have a glass of wine, which will I'll give you some rules in a minute. But I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be drinking all that stuff. I ain't trying to wear no red lip. I don't need to wear no brown lip, no purple lip. I don't need to do all that, okay? So most of the time, I just will wear lip gloss. I find that to be the absolute easiest thing to wear. You can easily apply it. You don't have to worry about it like being all over your face or anything like that. It's just super easy and the color doesn't fade because there is no color. And once it's gone, you just quickly reapply it. You don't even need a mirror, right? So if you guys did watch that haul video that I just posted, like I wore a lipstick combination and lipstick was like all right here by the time the video was over because it was just bleeding and I didn't realize it and it looks terrible and I would never wear that combination to work. Now, do I wear lipstick colors to work sometimes? Absolutely. I'll wear brown. I'll wear, I wear a lot of new lipsticks to work, but I will wear brown. I will, will wear deep red. I'll wear um, a regular red. I've done all of that. However, I don't do that on days where maybe I'm going to lunch with either coworkers or um, with my boss or something like that. I don't wear it on days where I know I'm going to go out to lunch and I also don't wear those colors on days where I have meetings and I know I'll be like talking a lot in front of people. Don't wear those colors because I don't want them to bleed out everywhere. If you have like a presentation or something like that, honey, keep it simple, simple, okay? Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid, all right? Okay, so this is the makeup. This is it. The only other thing I will do, which I'm about to do now is put on a setting spray so today we're going to use the Tarte stay spray and that just helps lock everything in right Whew. so we've done hair and makeup now it's time to get into these glasses honey yes so these glasses are from Zlul. I would like to thank them right now for sponsoring this portion of the video. These are so cute, right? So let me tell you, I do not wear prescription glasses, right? Do not wear prescription glasses, but I'm on the computer all day every day for not just my job, but also for doing YouTube stuff, Instagram, all of that. I'm on the computer, I'm on my phone, and those lights get very harsh and I just can't stand them, right? So, I always wear blue light glasses. If you guys watch any of my vlogs, any of my videos, you will see me with blue light glasses on. Not only are they super cute, you guys, I've always secretly wanted to wear glasses. I'm not gonna lie, I've always secretly wanted to wear glasses, but I don't need them, so. But not only are blue light glasses really cute, but they are protecting my eyes. And this first pair, this one is called Dorch, and I'll have all of these links below, obviously. I also have a discount code for you guys. But this pair, honey, I have gotten so many compliments on these glasses within the last few days. It has been absolutely crazy. And I have never gotten this many compliments on my blue light glasses. My boss even asked me where I got them from, and I had to slide her the information, okay? So, because they, they're just so cute. I love how oversized they are. And of course, they have a bunch of different styles on the website but honey these right here with with the leopard's boo with the with the leopard's boo those are everything right now another great point about zilu is that they are affordable i have seen how much i'll be paying for y'all glasses i have seen how much i've had to pay for glasses for the kids for my husband all of them it is crazy town even with insurance not only do they make blue light glasses but if you just want a stylish fashionable pair honey you could just get some with clear lenses or you can get your prescription from your eye doctor and put your prescription right right in the glasses so um ain't nobody glasses ever looked this good when i was in school baby all right the second pair is miss isabella i love these to death i love these to death so the third pair these are yanira and baby baby these are so so cute I am wearing these next time I go to work. Clearly, I like the oversized look, but they have so many different types. They also have readers and sunglasses. So they have something for everybody, literally. If you're just 
the girl who wishes they wore glasses like me then you can get your glasses from Zilul. If you actually have prescriptions from your eye doctor, you can get your glasses if you just need readers, if you want some sunglasses and some shades for the sun, honey. They got us all together. This is so cute. This is my first time trying this pair on. So I've tried on all the others, but I've not tried this pair on. Yes, y'all about to see these in every single video, seriously. Okay, last pair, and these are a little different. These are the style Daris. Look at the, how the frame stops right here. Look at the detail. These are those, now these are those, I probably won't wear these to work, honey. These are the ones I'm wearing on the weekends, okay? With my um, burgundy hair, that's, that's where I'm wearing these glasses. These are going right with my outfits on the weekends. And you know, Z Lul is so affordable that you can afford to get several different pairs of frames, right? That's how amazingly affordable they are. And they were nice enough to give your girl a discount code. So 10% off, use the code Yvette. It'll be on the screen and also down below. But thank you again to Z Lul for sending these over, baby. Wait till y'all see me in them. Y'all gonna be like, I remember when she did that video and she told me to get a pair. Just wait, just wait. I'm not gonna wear these tonight. Which ones am I gonna wear tonight? I guess it depends on the outfit, right? So let's head upstairs to my closet. We don't look in here in my closet first. Then we'll head upstairs to my closet and we're gonna find the perfect after work event outfit. Let's go. All right, y'all have seen this closet a million times, right? So we're just gonna go through this closet. I'm gonna pick out a couple options and then we'll head upstairs to the master bedroom closet and then we'll grab some things from there, see which one works best, all right? And don't forget, the word is still appropriate for the occasion, right? So something like this, with all the boobage, I probably wouldn't wear, right? But, something like wearing a white collared shirt with one of my outfits I could wear, right? That's appropriate. Wearing a nice wearing a nice simple sweater is also always a good option as well. All right, the only thing I really see down here that I want to wear is this. I got this from Express last week. And it's just an open kind of turtleneck vest. So I think I might wear this with a long sleeve white shirt underneath. And I think I have the perfect skirt. Let's go upstairs. All right, it's a hot mess up here, y'all. I already know that. So I don't even need you to comment, okay? <laughs> okay. I have a lot of, well, all of my dresses and stuff up here. Boots, all of that. We're gonna do like a closet clean out and refresh really soon whenever I get the strength to do it but I was thinking about this skirt right here so it is a really let's get it off the hanger it's a really cute longer leopard skirt and I think it'll look really cute with the pair of boots, right? Wait till I put it on. Let's go downstairs. I'll put it on and then I'll let you see. So it. FYI, you guys, I could have also chosen jeans to wear. I feel like, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> I feel like um, you guys have seen how I go to work. I go to work in jeans all the time, right? So we're just super informal, but we're going to this really nice place for dinner. And I just want it to look nice. Plus, my work jeans, like there's like three pair of jeans that I have for work, right? And those are all dirty because I have not done laundry. And so I would either have to pull one of those out of the dirty clothes and for reason, which I don't want to do. Don't judge me because I know y'all do it too, okay? So I would either have to do that or I would have to um, wear another pair of jeans. And they are all, in my mind, not work appropriate. They're pretty tight around the thighs and the butt now some girls like if you are just of a much slimmer line you can get away with stuff that's a little tighter but for me i feel like because i have hips and thighs i can wear something that's a little tighter or a little shorter and it may look a little obscene you know what i mean so i just try to stay away from anything that may be construed or misconstrued as as that and i just try to keep it as as clean and simple as possible, right? I I realize my body shape 
sometimes precludes me from wearing some of the things that I'll see on another woman and it would look great and it doesn't look it doesn't look bad at all but then I put it on and I look like I just came from the strip club you know what I'm saying all right so here's the top I thought this had something to tie it together but I think this is just kind of maybe if you're wearing a coat that doesn't have a zipper you can put this on and then you'll be a little warmer in the front and like that but obviously like this this just looks stupid so I'm gonna take this off and I may not let me turn this microphone I may not even need to put anything else on with this shirt so hold on I actually have a really cute black sweater upstairs that I might just go ahead and put that on. So I think this is going to be our final outfit. I got this jacket from H&M and I feel like this is cute because I can take off my coat and still wear it in the restaurant as well. The skirt I got from Shein, the shirt is Banana Republic and shoes. I think I will wear, um, I feel like I wear these boots everywhere, but they're so easy to wear and they have a little heel to them so I can look a little cute. So they're just a long velvet boot. Oh, I think I'll wear those and this will be the final outfit. So let's talk a little bit about jewelry and accessories. Okay, so some people are jewelry people. For me, jewelry is a super simple thing. Same with um, fragrance as well. I'm gonna wear something that is not super strong but still smells pretty good and that's this Dior. You don't wanna spray too much. By the time I get there, it'll go away. But I try not to be over overly smelly because you don't want to offend anyone with your scent obviously and then for jewelry jewelry is an easy one for me again because I'm pretty simple I've been obsessed with these Ana Luisa pieces as you guys know I will link them down below but I have my wedding ring this is like three days in a row for me too by the way for everyone who talks about how I don't wear my wedding ring like three days in a row like who am I but anyway I keep jewelry understated as well you ever been in a meeting with somebody who just like clacks their bracelet or clacks their jewelry and you like ma'am why why <laughs> like I hate being in meetings with people like that and I'm not saying you can't wear jewelry but again for me my work style is very understated I, I would rather the attention be on my work than on anything that I'm wearing my perfume my glasses my jewelry any of that right so that is just my preference so we're gonna wear this and for my purse purse is another Bag is another simple one. I'm just going to go with this like Gucci knockoff, okay? I'm just gonna go with this bag. Right here, it goes with my gold accents. And I love it. So let me finish getting dressed and I'll show you guys the full and final outfit. But this is gonna be the final outfit. So I put on those boots. And if you don't like wearing stockings like I don't, I just have on a pair of shorts underneath here <laughs> and these knee high boots because I don't feel like wearing stockings. I hate wearing tights. So that's how I kind of got around it. Pulling yourself some knee high boots. You don't need to wear tights. And then I'm going to wear this bag and it's just super small and understated and we're good to go. So let me get in the car and I'll be right back. All right, so you guys, the first tip that I have for you as far as behavior wise when you are going to an after work event is that you wanna be on time, okay? So depending on whatever time they told you to be there, in my case, we have reservations at a restaurant. I need to be there on time for the reservation. I don't wanna be the one person that shows up late and everyone else can't sit down or they're just watching me when I walk in, right? So you wanna make sure you're on time. You also wanna make sure that you're being social. This is 
a work event but it's also a social event so make sure you are making conversation don't get too personal but this is the time where you can give a little bit more tell people a little bit more about yourself just to make you more relatable and make you feel like a human being and not just cc who works down the hall okay well camellias what they call me you know but <laughs> but for real this is where they learn that you are a real person when you hear the phrase deals are made on the golf course that is not an exaggeration and in my case this isn't a golf course but this is i, I think the I think the when you think about that phrase and how I interpret it is that deals are made outside of work right when you have that personal relationship with someone and they can really relate to you outside of the job outside of work when you're at work those people are going to bat for you and I, I mean you want as many people as you can get on your side you know what I'm saying so think about it that way making friends although they may not be your real friends you may not hang out with them on the weekends but making those work friends and strengthening those work relationships can really help you in the future when it comes to promotions or if you just need someone to to go to bat for you when you're in a meeting you know those things really help and i'm not saying only talk to people for that reason but i mean I ain't, i'm gonna be lying to you if i said i ain't thought about that a time or two you know what i mean so think about those things as you're out and as you're being social now it's gonna get dark out here soon so i'm, I'm gonna end this video really soon but i think i would be remiss if i did not mention alcohol alcohol and work events go hand in hand okay um i feel like every company i've ever been at those people love to drink as do i let's be honest but those people love to drink they will pop bottles they will buy bottles of wine bottles of champagne you know we'll have cocktails and that's just a part of being social if you don't drink you don't have to drink don't feel like you have to drink if you're at a bar or something and you're going to get your own drinks then get a mocktail or get a ginger ale no one can really tell what's in your cup and that way you don't have to answer any questions if someone says oh why don't you drink but if you are gonna drink know your limits if you're someone who doesn't know their limits don't drink don't even do it to yourself because you will be the one <laughs> that everyone will talk about if you get too drunk if you start talking too much you never want to reveal too much information maybe about a project or or something that just wasn't supposed to be said you never want to be that person to reveal too much information or just just talk and embarrass yourself don't be that person so if you don't know your limits cut the alcohol with me I usually stick with wine at dinner and I will have no more than two glasses that is my limit that's what I do I can probably still carry myself correctly at three but just to be sure just to be safe I stick with two some people say don't drink at all that's perfectly fine as well if you don't want to drink you absolutely do not have to but if alcohol is involved you need to watch yourself other than that if you guys can think of any other tips for anyone who asks questions about this stuff please leave them down below it's getting loud in here and i don't want to subject y'all to that any longer so thank you so much for watching thank you so much to z lul for sponsoring this video again my discount code is down below in the description box so check them out you guys these glasses are so cute and they gave me that 10 percent off discount code to save you some money i love you guys so so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next